episode of no producers left behind this is part two of the beat video series um or package there's only two videos but i'll be showing you how to put a video into it into your um youtube video for your beat without getting copyrighted or lower the chances i don't want to say you won't get copyrighted but lower the chances so i'm just go over a few things here really fast go watch the last video if you want to know the basics of what everything pretty much does but i'm gonna go over it really fast so this obviously is the screen if you want to get to the screen just click essentials and then this is the timeline and i'll make this a little larger this is the timeline where you're going to edit stuff this is where you have your some of your tools essential tools um align character and effects those are essentials so that's why it's called essentials over here, you're gonna have your footage. I already have a few, my footage here, my MP3 and the, the video, the Bryson Tiller video. Um, to do that, right click and import and click on file and you can find your MP3 and find your um, video. So what you're gonna wanna do to make sure that it fits YouTube is go to composition, new, and then make sure it's 1920 by 1080. And you just click okay after that. But I'm gonna exit this because I already did that. So now what you wanna do is just drag everything down here. The order doesn't matter right now. Um, and then we're gonna wanna shape the video. Let's see, we're gonna wanna shape it just so it fits, okay? And this will help because you're distorting. It's like a sample. Think of it like a sample. You wanna make it super distorted. And if this isn't over here, if this isn't, it's just like this, all you have to do is drag it, drag it, and hold shift, and it'll lock to the song. So now, yeah, you could you could just play, you know, whatever. You could just play it through. We don't want that, right? So we're just gonna, well, we can do that later. But what we would do, we would just cut it okay but i'm not going to do that just yet because i want to add the audio spectrum so you understand that so we're going to right click new solid and we can just make uh, type spectrum and then 1920 by 1080 it should already be there click ok this will be black again or you know it'll turn black what you want to do is right click go to effect and then go to, uh, where is it? Generate audio spectrum. And let me zoom in so you'll see. And we just wanna click this to our MP3, right? And now um, a problem comes up. We have a video in MP3. So these are gonna be key. You wanna turn this off, right? So it's gonna turn the audio off for the video file, okay? So it doesn't mess with anything, okay? So we could just leave this as is, I guess. Um, I might mess with a few things. Let's see. And mess with the height a little bit, I guess. And we can change the color. I don't want to use red again. We can use something else. I'm trying to think what's like a, we might actually have to use red. Purple, maybe like a bright Tiller, I don't know, type of color, or blue. I don't know, it could work. So, um, again, here, this is the number of frequency bands that you're using, but I like to just keep it on the regular most of the time. And actually, might keep it higher. This is the height, right? The height of it. And it does matter how you mix your beat because the high frequency for me doesn't usually show. Maybe it's, I don't think it's poor mixing at all. I just think, because I put my bass really high in my beats, but uh, it's whatever. So you can change the thickness. If you want it to like kind of glow, you can do that. Um, you can choose the side. Again, watch the last video in this series if you want to see how to do this stuff, you know, a little bit more in depth. And then the analog 
which I should use for this, but I don't think it'll look good to be honest. But um, it's cool. I might just try this first and make sure this kind of section kind of see. So you want to look for stuff like this, right? Because my bass is really was well, not loud, but for, for some reason this thinks that it's really loud, but it's really not. So I'm going to change this so that the spectrum is a little longer. We can see what it does the rest of the song. Doesn't look like it's playing too much. Let's see. And that's fine for now. This is just a quick video, so we don't want to focus too much on that. So yeah, you can just mess around with this stuff, okay? Just mess around. Um, as long as this audio layer is on your MP3, you're good. Just you can mess around with everything. So we have that now. So now the video. You know, we want it to come in smooth too, but we'll do that at the end, like the kind of like cleaning up phase. So now the problem that we have is we don't want to get copyrighted. So if I remember correctly, then you can right click and go to time and where is it? Enable, click on enable time remapping. Okay, so it's gonna give you, it's basically you can like create a reverse effect and stop, freeze it and stop it. So what you want to do is take this because this is the zero frame, right? And drag it down and then drag this one down all the way over here and hold shift to lock it. All right. Hold shift to lock it into place at the end. Um, so now we can close this, right? Click this arrow. So now what we want to do, scroll so we can see the video. And what I'm gonna do is put an effect on it. I'm gonna make it black and white. Or actually, I just might do the same thing I did in the last video. Put an effect. Um, we can do generate. No, not generate. Um, where am I? I'm gonna go to blur. Camera lens blur. I'm just blur it. Go to decagon. Just turn this up. Just, you know, not too much. But this is gonna help in making this pop out. Okay, but you don't have to do this. If you want it to look really, really clean, then you can just do whatever. You don't have to put this blur on, but I, I'm going to do it to make this pop. And then we can go to color correction, go to black and white, just so we can add color to it. And then I'm going to go to color correction again and go to photo filter, go to custom and click here and you just choose a color. No, um, I like a purple again. I might do red. I don't really don't want to do the same. I'll make it really dark and turn this all the way up and then take this off. It just looks a little better and we can make this a little brighter. Kind of adjust it to that color. I just want to see how it looks throughout the video. So it may be a little too dark. So gotta bring it up a little bit. And let's just scroll through. We just want to make sure everything looks cool. Okay, so I'm gonna make the audio spectrum white. And this is kind of like it's kind of like mixing, you know, you wanna make go back and change stuff. We'll just make it white. And yeah, that might look good. I'm gonna go to side B, I believe that's what it is. All right, so we can go to side B. So now um, we can add stuff later. So I'm gonna just do this so that we can add the text. But like, now we wanna make it so the video, we can't get copyrighted really. So what I'm gonna do it's just probably do it about four times. 
maybe five, something like this, just one fifth of the video or the song. And you can press Control D, and this will copy all the effects, or it should, right? And you can close this if that distracts you. And then you can just keep copying this. Okay, and you can just change, you can also change the part of the video to, you know, to distort it more. And there we go. Do that, and then Control D again. And then we can choose this one, Control D, and just drag it to the end, and drag and hold Shift. And it's gonna play in reverse. And then it's it's gonna chop it up for you. This is only like three for three about three minutes. Yeah, it's about three minutes. So this you know forty seconds of the video, you're probably not gonna get copyrighted. So I'll just try to play it. And if you want everything to come in at one time, like fade in, which if you have an intro, you don't have to worry about that. I think you can just come here. Transform, um, click on the opacity, click it on zero. And it should do it for everything because it's highlighted. Just turn it up to 100. And you can just drag it out a little bit. Okay. So now we're going to close this. Right, so now it's just a simple little video we have. Right, so we can play it. Hopefully, it doesn't skip too much. Let's see. Get this up to 100. And it does skip. I'm not going to waste any more time. I'm just render it out at the end and just put a clip in there so you can just see it. So I'm just come to like one of these parts. Something like that. And I'm gonna put the little logo in there. So if you wanna do that, I'll show you right now. Just click up here. And then we'll put the name here. So this is called Let Go. Type in caps, Let Go. Don't worry about that. We can do that, fix that later. And then you can change the effect larger. Make sure it's highlighted. You can change the effect. You know some effects and stuff so um click out of that you want to kind of just drag it up here i'm gonna make it a little smaller something like that and then just try to put it on the thing right here all right so now we want to put our beat makers in there i'm gonna make this full okay so looking clean make sure everything's looking clean and crisp uh, come back up here make this really large so we can see and we can just uh, do the beat makers again we'll do it with a Z this time or I should choose something else um, can't really think of anything so forget it so what I did with the other one I just um, highlighted the 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 and then I think I put no I didn't do that it was something else I think it was what was it was it that I don't know it was one of these where it just made one of the letters small but for some reason it's not doing it now Let me drag this down Maybe it'll fix. Well, I don't know. One of these will make it kind of fit, if you know what I mean. But we can use that. I kind of like that one. And then I think that actually looks pretty, pretty cool. Move this down, make sure it's aligned. Close as it can be to the edge or aligned with the other one. And let's just check. All right. 
so now you have your video and i'll render this out so you can see it probably like 15 seconds so yeah that's how you make a beat video a quick one an easy one there's obviously other things you can do you know there's some crazy stuff you can do but this is just if you just want to make you know a clean video you know clean effects put the name everything you can put other stuff there too um then you can do that and that's how you you know do it so hopefully this helped you out um some maybe a lot i don't know let me know in the comments if it did if anything else you want to know just um go in the comments and just comment it i'll reply whatever um and i'll see you guys next video peace